Yo, what's going on hockey fans and welcome to Go Line Hockey. So, we're going to be looking up in Detroit in the Motor City as we're looking at the Red Wings again here. We just made a video the other day talking about their draft strategy. We're going to be changing things up today. We're going to be looking at the key targets that the Red Wings and Steve Eisman seem to be going full in on in this offseason. We'll be taking a look at those names in this video. If you like what we're doing here at Gold Line Hockey, and want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. And let's take a look at the Detroit Red Wings. All right, so before we get too far into this video, just want to give a quick plug to our Instagram handles at goal line underscore hockey as well as goal line sports, which is our other YouTube channel where we talk about all things college football. Make sure to check that out. I'll try and leave links in the description down below, and I'm sure you'll see pop ups throughout the video. All right, so let's get right into things. So Steve Eisman has been a very busy man over the last couple of weeks, despite his team not playing in over five months. The Detroit Red Wings are going full in this offseason. We've been hearing about what they are looking for this offseason. And one of those key areas is goaltending. As they seem to be letting Jimmy Howard walk in free agency this year. He's continued to age. He hasn't gotten any better. Had a, a, a really rough season last year with the Red Wings. A, a kind of a big part of the reason. The Red Wings were the last, the worst team in the NHL in the 2019-2020 NHL season. So they're looking for a replacement. And that option seems to be coming from Vancouver, as the Vancouver Canucks, at this point, starting goaltender Jacob Markstrom, had set to hit the free agency market this week, or in the next couple of weeks. Jacob Markstrom, 30 years old, he's a former 2008 second round pick, 31st overall, so in today's NHL, he would be a first round pick. Comparables that we could see to Jacob Markstrom's next contract, you're looking at Robin Leonard, who's making five years, $25 million on that contract. He's making $5 million per season for the next five years. Another comparable, I know, I Islanders, it's, that's how this goes, Semyon Varlamov, four years at $20 million. So once again, you're seeing four years at the same price of $5 million per season. I could see Somewhere around that for Jacob Markstrom. He may even get five and a half from the Detroit Red Wings just to entice him to come over there. If money is a big concern for Markstrom, uh, expect around five years, 25 to $30 million. So basically, you're looking at five years between 5 to $6 million per season for Jacob Markstrom to go to the Detroit Red Wings. Now another guy that they have been looking at is left shot, but he can play right shot defenseman, Andy Green. 37 years old. He's a Michigan native, so it just seems fitting that he would go back to his hometown on the back end of his NHL career. He has played 13 years in the NHL. He was the captain of the New Jersey Devils for plenty of plenty of seasons under Lou Lamorello, which he is currently with the New York Islanders at this point. Expect around a one-year contract between one to two million dollars this season. He's not going to command that much money. The Red Wings desperately need help on that blue line. Oh my God. They are awful right there. So looking at their lineup combinations, just looking at this group, you have Patrick Nemeth and Philip Heronik as your top pair. And then you've got Andy Green and Maurice Sider. I think he would play well along Sider. He would be a good a good way to acclimate him to the NHL. He would be, you know, a good mentor for Sider as he gets his first season, hopefully, in the NHL this year, as well as Dennis Chalowski and Madison Bowie, who would be on that third pairing for the Red Wings. All right, so now the cap space. The Red Wings have over $25 million in cap space, almost $26 million in cap space. So you can see them maybe looking at adding another defenseman. Uh, you know, you're lose, possibly losing Mike Green here this offseason. So you bring in Andy Green. So that way you've got a green on your blue line every season. That's kind of the goal. So, but all kidding aside, the Red Wings, I like what they're doing here. If, if they can pick up Andy Green as a good depth piece, you know, I don't know how I feel about Madison Bowie and some of those other guys that they have on that blue line. Uh, Patrick Nemeth even. I, I don't know how I feel about Patrick Nemeth. So I think a, another huge addition to that blue line would be huge. It allows Philip Heronik to develop more each cider. They need to add, they need to address some issues on that blue line. I think Steve Eisman's going to do that this offseason. As well as in between the pipes, they still have Jonathan Bernier. Uh, so he is going to be the backup to whoever they get this offseason, whether it's going to be even Marc-Andre Fleury, Jacob Markstrom, 
Freddie Anderson, all of the names we've been hearing over the past couple of months in terms of goaltending, even Matt Murray up in Pittsburgh. So let me know in the comment section down below. What do you want to see, Wings fans? Do you want to see Jacob Markstrom as your starting goaltender moving forward? And if not, let me know another starting goaltender you would like to see for the Red Wings next season. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey and want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. Make sure to check out our Instagram and Twitter handles at Goal Line underscore hockey. Links are in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.